Mister, mister, I've got a question about my dog. Is it okay to shout at my dog? Now, I just came up with that. Somebody asked me, I thought, what a great question. Look, the answer is this. The problem with shouting at your dog is it's a bit like cry wolf. You shout at the dog once, maybe they listen and get a bit of a shock. But if you keep doing it, the dog eventually just switches off and kind of ignores you and gets used to it. And then when you really need your dog to listen, they don't listen. You know, it's a, and the other thing that happens is you shout at your dog and then you raise your voice, you shout even more, and then you just end up you know, shouting all the time. So the thing is this, there's something way more powerful than just shouting at your dog. And the beauty of not shouting at your dog is of course, if you don't shout at your dog, then when you do have to shout at your dog, like suddenly you see something dangerous and the dog happens to have wandered near a, a road, you can shout at them and say, hey, come here. And the dog listens and goes, what? And comes running over. So, if you're interested in an incredible method which shares with you um, psychology about your dog, about how to connect with your dog so you don't have to share, shout at your dog, then click on the link that's on this page. Now, the sort of stuff I'm sharing with you is, let me give you one, one idea, that this is super powerful, you don't see it around that much. Time out for your dog is an incredible way of getting your dog to focus on you, basically give them a bit of time to calm down, to listen, to switch off from doing what they're doing. So imagine you've got a dog who keeps jumping up at you or jumping up on the couch when you're trying to eat your dinner and you know, and you kind of shout at them off, off, off. All you do is you take them very calmly, put them in time out, so bathroom, toilet, laundry room, leave them there for a minute or two. When they're quiet, you let them out. It's super simple. It's the same kind of approach I used with my parenting, parenting my two kids. Rather than just shouting at my kids, I went, well, let's try that with the dog, try it with the kids. It works. And obviously the way you put your dog in timeout is important. You don't want to be all angry and stressed. But very quickly your dog understands if they jump on you when you're eating your dinner on the couch, they're going to end up in timeout. So super simple things like that. But there's also a way more powerful um, foundation, which I want to share with you inside my program. And uh, if you click on the link that's on this page, it could be the start of something wonderful. Love you to join me, I'm Doggy Dan. That's all for now, I just thought I'd share that little uh, knowledge tip there with you. But uh, yeah, this could be the start of something beautiful. If you click on the link that's on this page, I'll share more about my program. Love you to join me. I've helped tens of thousands of people over the last decade online with this program. It's tried and tested. It works super fast. Not much required in terms of hours of training. It's like minutes each day. That's all it is. Amazing results and anyone can do it. It's a step-by-step -step program. I take you through exactly what to do. You can do it. Alrighty. Take care guys. Bye-bye.